welcome back to the ch channel today we are going to do a quick one so just want to hit it on the head everyone's talking about it but we'll go ahead and talk about it as well but we're going to look into the future and see why this is changing the game so guys what did gamestop teach us all about this well it taught us about decentralization it's not about buying the next biggest thing or investing in the next biggest thing it it's the ability to be able to partake in it with this if this gamestop thing didn't teach us anything it basically shows the uh, big guys are, are controlling everything they're on top of everything uh, i mean if you guys think oh it's just robin hood no look weeble's doing it too other exchanges are doing it too i mean it just doesn't it only it doesn't only come down to um gamestop i mean if you read in the article where they talk about the robin hood they're actually talking about restricting on doge coins um slowing it on btc i mean they're, they're basically withholding everything so it's kind of like they're controlling everything and you, you can't invest in anything so i think this is the era we're going to find is where everything is going to come into decentralization um or at least people are going to be flocking to it and now you guys are asking yourself well how do i do that where do i do that well obviously the first gateway drug is going to be bitcoin so bitcoin is the very first thing so bitcoin is just a peer-to-peer -peer payment system it's completely decentralized and it just works whether the government says it or not i mean sure they can put outlaws and say hey if you exchange in bitcoin you will go to jail it doesn't really affect other countries so it's kind of something that yeah it, it still has that threat out there but it, it still runs so now you're like well okay well bitcoin's great but now how are we going to decentralize um airbnb or zillow or any other marketing i mean if you guys haven't seen it already like for example with facebook some people can't even create a facebook account because facebook doesn't let them or or if you have facebook um interacting with other websites or if you start a an account with facebook on say you started um a uh, a website account or a YouTube just connect it with Facebook and log in through that way say Facebook shuts you down you aren't gonna be able to get into your YouTube or any other platform if you have everything on Facebook so it's kind of like wow but then they have the uh, protocol called Blockstack. Blockstack, you can basically own your own data and you can control what you want to do with it and no one can shut it down it's a decentralized network just like Bitcoin so there's other options besides Bitcoin and say the credit card payments they don't allow you to process payments because hey you're too big or hey um, we don't want you uh, being able to accept payments uh, for that because we, we don't think you should be able to sell that item well, why are they the ones to be able to say that well then you have the option of you trust you trust allows you to accept cryptocurrencies uh, or, or even you can just use your own digital wallet and just say hey you can deposit funds here and uh, we'll send out your um, product or whatever you're selling so I mean there's different features out there that are built in the blockchain ecosystem so this is what Robinhood Webull and all this GameStop thing is teaching us but this is what uh, there also is another thing it's called Uniswap so you guys are looking at it like oh well I can only trade um, cryptocurrencies here well, all you got to do is make a wrapped version of the um, stock you can make a wrap stock <clears throat> they even have an exchange for it I did a video on it on it as well that's called mirror protocol that'll actually be coming out tomorrow so you guys can uh, take a, or two days from now you guys can actually take a look at it really neat protocol really great project and I, they're actually trading like M Tesla on it right now. They're trading Google um, in the works as GameStop. So you can actually trade actual stocks on there 24 7. Um, Uniswap, you can trade different cryptocurrencies. Yeah, the, you, some people say, oh, you can't shut Uniswap down. Well, it isn't foolproof. Um, I was actually looking into their web hosting. Uh, uniswap.org is actually hosted with Amazon Web Service so I guess if the government wanted to come and shut this down they can contact amazon.com but maybe it'll be down for a day or two and then uh, uniswap.org will register maybe a .zil domain or an unstoppable domain um, where there's really no web hosting it, it, you own it so you can choose what happens with it but I mean, Amazon's too big. I don't know if they're going to care about it, but who knows? I'm just saying worst case scenario. Like for example, Bitcoin.org, they're registered with DigitalOcean. DigitalOcean is a decentralized um, 
a decentralized web hosting server. Uh, they are registered. The DigitalOcean's website is registered with Cloudflare, but still that is irrelevant because they are a decentralized web hosting service server. So whether DigitalOcean's website goes down or not, it's irrelevant to Uniswap. So Uniswap can technically go through that platform. And then another thing is on top of that, okay, great, we have Bitcoin, we have accepting payments, this is awesome. But now we have a problem of, hey, I want to sell my property, but I don't want to deal with lawyers or I want to sell my properties. If they do this, then I'll do this. Like conditions. Well, that's where Ethereum comes in. Ethereum is the smart contract platform, which allows you to say, hey, well, if you pay $10 to Johnny and Johnny is saying in the contract that if he gets $10, you get the deed to his property, then it automatically executes a smart contract. Several different cryptocurrencies and platforms built on this, and it's it's not just a one-stop shop, and anyone can build their own cryptocurrency or art smart contract platform on it. Okay, great. Now I got my own banker. Now I have all this information. This is awesome. But now I want to go out and rent a house. Now I want to have a marketplace. Like I go on Facebook Marketplace and I look at all these products and I can see all these cool things. But say I can't get a Facebook. Say they shut it down. They don't let me. Well, there's an app for that. <laughs> well, the app is Origin Protocol. So Origin Protocol, they also have another one called... Um, what is it called? Share Ring. Share Ring token uh, or Share Ring S H R E or let me let me look it up for you guys. Hang on. S H R. Uh Share token. So it's S H R. A really cool platform. It's the Share Ring network. It's the same exact concept. Um, it's almost like Uber, Amazon. It, it you literally can contact people in there and say, "Hey, I'd like to use your service. Here's some money." It's like a digital marketplace. Um, same thing with the origin platform it's the same exact concept it's like a digital marketplace you can go on there uh, you can sell products on it they accept crypto so it's a decentralized network and then you also have well say hey I, I can't even access it because my internet provider uh, won't let me or that website won't let me access there well they have an app for that it's called Orchid Orchid is a decentralized VPN so now instead of the VPNs taking all your data you can actually use Orchid and get a VPN entirely anonymous. You don't have to have your credit card information or your name or cell phone or anything. Literally just buy the cryptocurrency, spin the cryptocurrency in order to get, well, a VPN so people don't know who you are. And they even have web hopping or um, uh, network hopping so no one can be like, oh, well, you're this same person because you're coming from here. No, it's a decentralized VPN service. Guys, there's so many apps out there. There's so many different services out there. This is just the beginning. So once people see GameStop, Webull, um, Robinhood, all these different things, people are going to be like, wow, Bitcoin, let's go in there. And then they're going to get tired of Bitcoin or they're going to realize Bitcoin's, wow, this is awesome. Then they're going to go down the rabbit hole and then they're going to discover Ethereum. Then they're going to discover all these smaller altcoins like sharing origin protocol this is just the beginning guys um wait till they see uniswap uh that that'll be a face melter for them i can trade this stuff without people stopping it wow and that'll basically just change it anyways guys i uh, just want to make a quick video on that let's leave you guys with a wisdom one-liner proverbs chapter 27 i think we're in verses 26 let's see nah 27 i was close you will have plenty of goat's milk to feed your family and to wait now we'll read the whole thing here it is when the hay is removed and new growth appears and the grass from the hills is gathered in the lands will provide you with clothing and the goats will pri and the goats with the price of the field you will have plenty of goat's milk to feed your family and to nourish your female servants so basically what this means is you work hard you get rewarded for it we kind of read 25 and 26 in our last video but still you guys get the point work hard you'll be blessed don't be lazy guys thanks for watching thanks for watching guys if you guys are new to the channel go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and hit that bell notification that way you guys can be ahead of the game every time we make a new video if you guys are new to cryptocurrency, don't know where to get started, don't know what to invest in, well, participate in the triple threat. The first thing, set up a Celsius account.
this is for your savings this is where you're going to store your cryptocurrency and you can earn interest it can be up to five percent six percent ten percent and they, they even have some as high as seventeen percent here's a referral link use this referral link in order to get 20 bucks in free bitcoin part two of the triple threat is to get a crypto dot Com. Crypto.com account is one of the best places, especially for a beginner, to buy cryptocurrencies uh, or, well, smaller altcoins. So now you have a savings account. Now you need to get a cryptocurrency wallet that allows you to buy those smaller altcoins like your engine coin, your raving coin, just like smaller alts so you guys can participate in those um, big plays. My referral code is down here. If you use this, you'll get 25 bucks free. And the next one is Voyager. Voyager is awesome. There's a list of different cryptocurrencies you can use. What I like about Voyager in particular is you can actually make your next level up in buying cryptocurrencies. You can actually buy Bitcoin with a limit order. So you just hit buy Bitcoin, hit limit, and you type in how much you want. Boom, you're off to the races. So you don't have to watch it and make sure it's a good buy. -in. Here's a referral code you guys can use. To get some free cryptocurrency this will allow you to get 25 dollars for free can't beat free and then obviously this is just a fun one so you can get free cryptocurrency is going on lolly you get a daily stack all you do is you tap the treasure chest and you get free sats and it's literally free one of the days i literally got um 20 bucks in free bitcoin look 101 000 sats pretty cool